At first, a small stream may appear a poor choice for fishing. In today's case, the size of the water disguises the fishing quality. In this slower stretch of the stream, with polarized sunglasses, I am able to spot many species from the shore. The most obvious are the colorful long-eared sunfish guarding their nests. Various minnows also are visible as they swarm in and out of the vegetation. On hot days like today, the fish will slow down their feeding as the water temperatures increase. This long eared sunfish is colorful, but not the most vibrant long ear I have seen. When breeding, the males become a far brighter orange. The long eared sunfish is characterized by distinctive long ear and blue lines on their cheek. Long ear are often dominant in small streams, while they fare poorly against their relative sunfish in ponds and lakes. In the same water and only a few hundred feet downstream, an entirely new species can be found. The water narrows in this section of the stream, allowing other fish with agile bodies to thrive. To catch less dominant species, you will need to work through various ever-present fish. In this region, the common and aggressive fish is a striped shiner. With persistence, the less common species are caught. The Scarlet Shiner. This breeding male displays a much brighter red than the females. They are also identifiable by the saddled pattern over their back. These fish are found over a coarse substrate and do not tolerate silty water. Human development and invasive species such as the rainbow trout have had a negative effect on this fish in certain regions. Though small in size, with a maximum of 4 inches, this fish rivals trout in design and beauty. More information on these fish can be found in the description below. As always, please subscribe or leave your feedback. Thanks for watching.